by the way, uh, Brian McTaggart this morning in the, uh, on Twitter uh, tweeted out that Justin Verlander is looking for a Max Scherzer deal, mm-hmm. a three-year, $130 million deal. Which was, we expected him to be in the f- yeah. to attack for. And you know what? I can't blame Justin Verlander. I mean, he did make $66 million by sitting and, and pitched six innings um, uh, for the Astros over two years. But you know what? He he did pay him back with a $25 million deal this year. And a Cy Young. These hoes Soon ain't to be loyal. Cy Young. These hoes ain't loyal. Yeah, anyone he's going to win the Cy Young award today. And you know what? I, I, I really can't blame him. He's not. He, obviously, he wasn't going to take $25 million again this year. And the thought was he should, you know what? He should be. If I'm Justin Verlander, I look at what I'm doing. Uh, I should be the highest paid player, the highest paid pitcher. Should the, the, the Astros probably should have. It's easy to say now in hindsight because the guy hadn't pitched for a couple of years, but the Astros probably should have stuck harder in because Justin knew. I mean, they're smart. Hey, we're going to give you a $25 million a year, and if it's not great, and if I don't have it still, then $25 million is a pretty good paycheck for me. And then um, I can't remember if, if – was there a team option or just a player? I think it was just player. It was – he had to vest, though. He had to pitch 130. Innings. Okay. Yeah. That's right. So yeah. – you had that, and then he knows if I pitch well at all, I'll just opt out, and I get in the 30s. Um, you know, that's probably what I'll do. What he didn't anticipate probably was being at Cy Young form, and all of a sudden now he's going to shoot for 40s. And guess what? Because he's only going to be a two- to three-year pitcher, the Dodgers the Yankees will give it to him. And the Mets. And the Mets, yeah. One of those teams will I give could, it to him. I could certainly see him going to the Mets. He and Scherzer at the top of the rotation, DeGrom out. And and Verlander in, I could certainly see that, and I could certainly see them doing what they do and being out in the playoffs early. Although those two horses, oh man, at the Scherzer top of the and Scherzer and Scherzer, and, Scherzer, and, Scherzer and, got beat by the Braves, man. I he mean, did. That was in the playoffs. I yeah. don't see him out of the playoffs. No, no, no. They'd be in the playoffs. They'll be in the playoffs. Um, but but you know that's it's still no guarantee that those guys. And and listen. His postseason has been really, really good. He's got over a three ERA in the postseason, but his World Series has been awful. And I, I, there's just I, – I just don't see any way that the Astros – any way that the Astros are even going to think about giving him $43 million. No, not, when the, not with the other money they have to spend in the short term and long term. I don't see it either. I, I felt like – I'm, okay, I, my I'm guess okay, is, okay with that. I am too. And they, I'm sure they knew what the number was when they signed Montero. I'm sure when they gave Montero his deal, because if you're looking at signing yeah. Justin Verlander, you don't do that. Well, Montero well they deal. had an exclusive window to bar- to <coughs> to bargain with yeah. Justin Verlander, and, and they absolutely knew the number. Now, now Jim Crane could let him go get his number, but it doesn't. I mean, that's not gonna. I've never seen him do that before, so I don't see that happening. And I don't think you would have signed Montero. There's enough in your bullpen where you could have gone Norris, you could have gone Stanek, you could have uh, uh, gone Hunter Brown if you wanted to. You could have, you could have, Abreu. Uh, Bra- yeah, Abreu. I mean, forget Hunter Brown, Abreu. You had enough there to have your bullpen without going. That's what's just so puzzling about the Montero deal. The Montero deal for sure knocks you out of Justin Verlander. But I don't think, I don't think that Jim Crane would have wanted to do three years anyway. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't want to do three either. I'd want to do two with Justin Verlander. Even though, short of his arm injury, he's shown no signs of slowing down. I mean, he really hasn't. Since he's been an Astro, he's been unbelievable. The only thing you can really point to is an inning and a half in the World Series this year, a pitch in the World Series to Schwarber, an inning and a half this year. That was the only thing that was a negative uh, really this year is Justin Verlander. I think he was just okay, right, against the uh, the Yankees. But, no, he was he was fine against the Yankees. So, there wasn't – I mean, his first three innings were perfect. Everyone acts like this, oh, what a disgraceful pitcher he is in the postseason. Did you no. see that slop he threw up there? You mean when he was three perfect? He had a bad fourth that a double play would have got him out of that. He had a bad fourth. And in the fifth, you know, when I say bad, teams were battling him on his pitches. They had a blue pit, uh, a blue pit to, to left field. He had a line drive that should have been a double play that he didn't have. He wasn't bad in the World Series this year. He had an inning where he couldn't, where they outworked him and outgritted him, and in the fifth, he just couldn't, he just couldn't make it happen in the fifth, and his pitch count started to get a little higher. Well, not real high though. Other than that, show me the bad Justin Verlander stuff. Yeah, like I, people keep acting like you throw this World Series. What do I care what he did with the Tigers? I can't, I can't put anything he did with the Tigers in in his favor here. I don't care what happened when he was 
28 years old. That has nothing to do with, with, with this Houston Astros team as an Astro, as an Astro, he has, he has not been as good in the playoffs as he has in the regular season. That's fair, but to act like he's some kind of trash world series pitcher. And that's the reason you get rid of him. He's getting to the world series. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. one of the main reasons he gets to the World Series. Absolutely. No. And and you know what? The Mets would be thrilled if they you know, or the Yankees would be thrilled or the Dodgers would be thrilled if he gets them there. And then you take your chances on whether or not he wins. Seven forty five ESPN ninety seven five and ninety two five.